Hi, welcome to Mr. Otter Studio. For the past two weeks, I've showed you how to make some simple watercolor holiday cards. And today, the last way that I'm going to show you is to paint a solid background. We're going to paint it using a watercolor wash. And then on top of that wash, to add an illustration, a holiday illustration, or some text. The size is up to you. You can make it big, you can make it small. You can use a background with one color or two colors or more colors. The edges, you can tape your edges. You can just leave them nice and loose or you can paint all the way to the edge. Also in your background, you can add salt or use saran wrap to create texture. So first I'm going to show you how to make the background and then I'll show you two or three simple illustration ideas to go on top and I'll also give you some more ideas of what you can make with it. These are the supplies that you need. Just a simple eight color watercolor set will work great. A round paintbrush, this is a round number 10. Water, a paper towel, watercolor paper, and this is a piece of watercolor paper that I've cut in half. Pencil and eraser, colored pencils. I'm using a micron pen. Also for this tutorial, I am going to be using this flat brush, and this is just a three quarter inch flat brush so that I can paint in my background pretty quickly. So these flat brushes just make it easier for you to fill in a larger area. So I would definitely recommend using a flat brush for these washes. Also, of course, masking tape if you want to tape a border. The two other supplies that I might be using today are table salt and you can use saran wrap or you can upgrade to the Glade Press and Seal. This video is not sponsored, but I'm just going to show you. That's what I'm using. It's more expensive than saran wrap, but it has a different texture on it. Let's get started. Set up your watercolors. So if you're right-handed, you wanna put all of your watercolor supplies on the right side. If you're left-handed, go ahead and set up on the left side. The skill that you learn when creating this card is how to create a watercolor wash. So we're trying to get a flat color or a flat gradient color where we go one color into the next. And this is the technique for creating a watercolor wash in a large area. So we are trying to cover this large area with a color or a few colors. So what we wanna do is mix up a puddle of paint in our tray by dropping water into our tray and adding color to it. And we're making this puddle so that we have enough color to cover that whole area with. And also if you want to create a gradated wash, you could either add a little color as you go down or you could create another puddle so that it's easier to have something to pull from. Also, since we're drawing over the top of this, unless you have a white paint pen or a metallic pen, if you just have a black pen, then you need to make sure your background is light enough that you can see that pen on top. For this first one, I'm just going to create a blue background and I'm just going to drop some blue paint into my puddle and I might add just a little bit of brown to it to just make it a little bit grayer. Your color might look really dark in the puddle, but if you paint it onto your paper towel, you can see that's really light, which maybe you want. But if you want it to be darker, just add more color. For this first one, let's just go ahead and tape the borders just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm just going to add tape around all of these edges. You can use thick tape or thin tape. This border is up to you. But what it does is it's just gonna leave a nice white crisp border around this wash. So just add tape around it. Make sure you press it down so that it's sealed. Load your paintbrush up with paint, which means you're just soaking up a ton of paint. And then I'm gonna start at the top and just slightly overlap the blue, just slightly. You don't wanna scrub your paper, but I'm overlapping it just so this can be a continual wash. But you can see I mixed up a really big puddle of paint and I'm already kind of running out of it. And as it starts to dry, hopefully some of these lines and stripes that I've painted in go away. You can just soak up some of the color around the edges. And that's it. So while I'll let this dry, you can tell it's dry by looking at it and seeing if it's shiny. If it's shiny, it's still wet. If it's not shiny, chances are it's dry. Don't make the mistake of touching it with your finger. This is what it looks like after it's dry. So you can see these nice white crisp borders. If the tape starts to tear your paper, tear it from the other side or go a little bit slower as you're tearing it off. And for this one, I'm just going to create a loose kind of wash in here. These are just going to be those nice loose edges. Let's try using two colors for this wash. So maybe I will choose a blue that kind of turns into like a purple. So I'm gonna mix up a puddle of blue here and I could make this really small. It doesn't have to go all the way to the edges of your paper. And I just added a little bit of brown to my puddle just to make it a little bit more muted and not such a bright blue. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fade it into purple. So I'm just gonna mix up a more purple puddle down here. 
And in my purple puddle, I'm going to add a little bit of that brown as well. This is how to create a wash with two different colors. So it's a gradated wash. We're going from one color down to the next. And so we're going to start with your first color at the top and then just slowly add that second color as you move down. And so I'm just gonna keep it like that. So that's nice and loose borders. This is what that looks like when it's dry. If you're painting a smaller card, you might wanna go all the way to the edges. For this one, I'm just going to be using red and I'm just gonna, I'll show you a different way to create a gradated wash where we gradually will go into orange. The key to creating a nice flat wash is just making a big enough puddle really. Now as I move down, instead of having another puddle, I'm just gonna dip into the orange. So I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna go all the way to the edges on this one. And as I'm moving down, I'm just putting a little bit of orange on my brush and moving it into that puddle. Also for your background, I told you I would show you how to use saran wrap and salt. So I'm going to use salt in this one. The technique is really simple. Once you paint your background, it has to still be wet and then you're just going to sprinkle some salt into it and let it dry, let it do its thing, and then after you should get something along the lines of this. And this is just ordinary table salt. You can do the same thing with this press and seal wrap or saran wrap. Paint your wash, make sure it's still wet, and just press that press and seal wrap into it. You can lift it off immediately or you can leave it there while it dries. I think it looks a lot better if you leave it there while it dries. And then when you take it off, this is the effect that you can get. So in this card, I'm just painting a puddle and I'm not painting top to bottom like I usually do. Instead, I'm painting more of a circular shape and then filling it in with those other colors. This is what this looks like when it's dry. Now you can make a holiday illustration by adding a Christmas tree or a bell or mittens or scarves or holly berries. But one of my favorite things to do is to just draw some kind of animal and add mittens or a hat to it. And that will make it look like a winter Christmas card. And you could draw it realistically or you can draw it as simply as you would like. And so this one, I'm just going to show you how to draw a really simple cat. This will work for any animal though. I'm just showing you some techniques here. Don't copy these drawings. You could do way better than this. I'm just giving you some ideas. Idea number one for your illustration is an animal with a hat or mittens or a scarf, and this is gonna be a cat. Also, you can draw this in pencil first and then go over it in pen. You can totally erase pencil over the top of watercolors as long as it's not underneath the watercolors, it will erase. So if you're uncomfortable drawing in pen, go ahead and draw this in pencil. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw a little gumdrop shape here for the head. I'm going to draw a little round nose, with like an upside down Y underneath. And you can draw these eyes as big or as small or as wide apart as you want. Any guesses on what animal this is? All right, what about now? Now I'm going to draw this shape over the top. This is a cat. So I'm just going to add these ears. This is a hood. Draw a circle right here. This is going to be a scarf. So just kind of draw a box and then attach it with the rope over here. And then also on this side as well. And we're just going to make a big round body underneath. You could make this way smaller and cuter. I think if this was smaller, it would be a lot cuter. But anyway, two little circles underneath with two lines in them. And you can add a big tail if you would like. Then you can add the bottom of the scarf. So just draw like a rectangle that gets a little bit bigger at the bottom or a triangle. And then you can add these little tassels. Now add a few elements to make this a little bit more interesting. You could add eyebrows. You could make these rounder. You can add designs and stripes on this costume around it or on the scarf. So I'm just gonna draw some simple stripes. You can add polka dots, you can add stripes, you can add whatever your heart desires. And then on the tail, you know, you can add some striping if you would like as well. I'm just gonna add some triangles along the back and fill them in. You could put some hands out here with mittens if you want. And you can write a little Christmas message in here or a note, or you can just like sign it so it looks all official. You can either sign it in here or you can sign it at the bottom. And you can definitely add color to this if you want. You can add watercolor again. You can add marker, crayon, colored pencil. There you go. You could also add some buttons on this little snowsuit to make it look super cute. 
On this one, I'm just going to show you like literally the most simple Christmas illustration ever. It's a snowman. It's made out of circles. I know you can do it. This is going to be the most beginning thing I've ever showed you on this channel, except for maybe the stick figures. I don't know. A snowman can be so many different things and you don't have to put a snowman in this. This is just the idea. Again, use a pencil first if you're worried about messing up or using a pen. So I'm just going to draw a little smiley face right there and then I'm going to put two circles underneath overlapping and I'm going to make the bottom one bigger than the top. So the bottom's the biggest, the top's the smallest. I'm just going to draw a rectangle across the top and then another rectangle on the very top and I'm curving it just a little bit. You don't have to do that and you can add a ribbon if you want. So I'm just going to do two eyes and for the carrot nose you can just add um, just a triangle going sideways. And then you can add smaller dots for the mouth. I don't have a corn cob pipe on this one, sorry. You could add a scarf if you want, just like we did kind of on the cat, just with a box and then these longer pieces. You can put some buttons going down the middle if you would like. And then the arms can be a bunch of different ways, but what I'll show you to do is just draw sticks coming out and you can make them thick or you can just keep them a simple line. And then put two or three branches that are different lengths at the end. And maybe this one I'll put up like he's saying hello. I don't know. Illustration number two idea is a simple snowman. Make yours way cooler. I would honestly think this would be much cooler if this hat was dark. Just adding a little bit of contrast to this. So to make it dark, I'm just filling it in with lines. There you go, a nice snowman. You might want to make your text straight so it looks a little better. So if you have any pieces like this, you can trim the edges. I would use a paper cutter if you want those to be more exact. And on this one, I'm just going to show you how to draw some Christmas lights. And in this one, I'll use um, color pencil over the top. Just draw some lines in here. I'm just going to draw two like this. And I'm just going to attach some lights and you can attach them. You can kind of measure it out or you can just freehand draw these in here. So they're just like these little ovals that you're going to attach to it or it looks like a zero or an O. And then where they attach to the string, you just want to draw a little box. And you can make the box a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, kind of depends on how you've drawn these in. And then you just want to add color to these lights so they look like Christmas lights. You can grab anything to color them. You could even just use your watercolor, but I'm going to be using colored pencils. You could just add one color, you could add a few colors. The nice thing with um, colored pencils, especially these Prismacolor colored pencils, is they layer really well over watercolor. So you could write something in there. You could um, just say like Merry Christmas at the bottom, or you could just sign it and then put your message on the other side. So there you go. There are some ideas for you. Hopefully you can come up with some better ones than those. Kind of came up with those on the spur of the moment. A snowflake would look great. You could even cut out a snowflake and tape it to it or glue it to it. The possibilities are endless. So remember, these are just a few ideas. You can put any illustration on top of one of these washes. Thank you so much for painting with me and drawing with me today. I hope you learned how to create a large watercolor wash in this tutorial and also just how simple it is to create these holiday cards with illustrations on top of it. Have fun with these cards. I hope you enjoy this holiday season. Thank you so much for drawing and painting with me today on Mr. Otter Studio. I hope you and your family and your friends have a wonderful holiday season. Mm -hmm.